to my channel. So happy you clicked to watch this video. If you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe now. And if you are, thank you so much for coming back today. Wait, hold on. I'm trying to get my slow mo's popping so I, you know, have my hair blowing in the wind and stuff. But let me turn this off real quick. Okay, back to normal. So today is going to be a tutorial on this look. And this is just my everyday, my go-to summer glam. This is also my go-to makeup whenever I'm recording. So I thought I'd come today and show you guys how I do this. I'm also going to have a tutorial for this hair. The link to my hair video will be in the description box below. So be sure to check that out for hair deets. And what else, what else, what else? I just wanted to say hey and let you guys know that I miss you. But yeah, just miss you guys. Be sure to follow my snap. I've been getting so many snaps from you dolls. You guys are just amazing. You guys are always letting me know what you want to see, what you like, what you don't like. Um, I'm very interactive on my snap be sure to follow me at i'm amory b i will have all my other social media down below if you're not following cool calm curly what are you doing like you need to start following keep keep up with with cool calm curly and the updates and that's about it um yeah so <laughs> let's get into it so let's get started with the brows. I'm gonna fill my brows in using a black eyeliner pencil and my brown NYC pencil. I do have a more in-depth brow routine and I'll leave that in the description. I'm gonna clean these up with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey and blend that out with my finger. Moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna prime my lids with the same concealer I just used for my brows. And then I'm gonna set that with my Airspun Translucent Powder. So for the eyes, I'm gonna take this color into my crease and this is actually a contour palette. So I will be using this palette for my face as well as my eyes. Then I'm gonna take this color and put that all over my lid. And to add a bit more depth, I'm going to take this darker shade of brown and just put that on my outer crease. And then I'm going to go in with my Extreme Bold Liquid Liner for a slight wing. To finish off the eyes, I'm just going to put on a little mascara and my Demi Wispy Lashes by Ardell. For the face, I'm going to prime with my LA Girl HD Primer and then I'm going to use a little, little bit of my LA Girl Orange Corrector. I'm going to apply this corrector wherever I have a little darkness, which is around my mouth and a little bit under my eyes. After blending with my finger, I'm going to blend it out even more with a damp beauty blender. You want to make sure that it's evenly blended because once we put on our foundation, we do not want orange spots peeking out. I'm going to conceal the same areas that I just corrected with my Pro Concealer in the color Pure Beige. I actually meant to use Warm Honey, but I wasn't paying attention and I just picked up the Pure Beige, so I'm going to go with it. And I'm going to blend this out with a damp beauty blender. As you can see, this is a different beauty blender from the one that I used to blend the corrector because you don't want any orange to transfer onto your concealer. Thank you. 
my favorite foundation. I'm gonna be using my Cover FX in the shade G70 and blend that out with my Damp Beauty Blender. As you can see, I'm using a Damp Beauty Blender pretty much for everything. It just helps the makeup glide onto your skin way easier. And whatever is left on the back of my hand, I'm just gonna pick that up with my Damp Beauty Blender and begin to blend, blend, blend. Going back in with my warm honey, I'm gonna place that under my eyes, my cupid's bow, my chin, forehead, and the bridge of my nose. And then I'm gonna blend that out with a, yep, you guessed it, a damp beauty blender. I'm gonna set all of my highlighted areas with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm gonna dust that away with my e.l.f. Total Face Brush. Taking the shade to contour, I'm gonna place that on the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, and a little bit on my jawline for some slight definition. And then I'm gonna clean up that contour with my Airspun Loose Powder. Remember that shade I used in my crease earlier? I'm gonna take the same one and contour my nose. I'm gonna take this highlight shade from my sunset palette and put that on the inner corners of my eyes and I'm gonna use that same highlight for my lower lash line as well as my brow bone. Can't forget about the button nose. Mm, I was thinking about what shades to use, but I'm going to take these two shades and smudge that into my lower lash line. Going to coat my bottom lashes with some mascara and then go in with my white eyeliner. Now for highlight, my favorite part, I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. Last but not least, we gotta get these lips together. I'm gonna line with my Jordana pencil in the color Spiced Rum. And then I'm gonna top that with my Kate lipstick in the color 14. 
And then I'm gonna top that with my Milani gloss in the color 03 Luminous. I wanted a little more bronze, so I'm going in with one shade darker than my original contour, and I'm gonna put that in the same spots I contoured. To make sure this makeup does not budge, I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter. And here's the finished look, a light sleigh for these hot summer days. Hope you dolls enjoyed. I'll see you at the next one.